This is News 5 at 11. Elyria police are investigating a deadly crash between a car and two boys on bikes. Hello everybody and thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Carlos. One child died at the scene and another is fighting for his life. News 5's Catherine Ross spoke to neighbors today and she explains why they hope the tragedy creates change. A nine-year-old boy was killed and a 10-year-old critically injured at the bottom of this hill here on Burns Road. I'm Catherine Ross here in Elyria and neighbors we've talked to in this area tell us this blind spot is one of many safety concerns they've been sharing about this busy street for years. The road through Northeast Elyria is home to longtime residents like Jeff Baxter. There's always been excessive speed on that road, even even going back 40 some years. He tells us Burns Road was off limits when his children were little and the subject of boundaries when they were older. When the girls started driving, they had to drive and turn to the right. I wouldn't let them try and turn left because of cars coming over that hill. It's that hard to see. Other neighbors point out the lack of sidewalks and narrow shoulders and say they encourage walkers and bikers to use their yards. You'll see a lot of kids basketballs. They're walking up here to go play basketball. Kids riding bikes here. Nine-year-old Bryant Ty Bartlett was riding his bike to the park with a friend Saturday. His family shared these photos of the little boy everyone called Tide. Just before 6 p.m., Elyria police say an SUV driving east tried to drive around the bicycles. When the boys changed direction and the vehicle crashed into them, Tide was killed. His 10-year-old friend was flown to a Cleveland hospital with critical injuries. I feel horrible for the family and, you know, Barb and Deanne, the ones that uh, were down there assisting before the first responders got by. Um, it's it's not a good thing. It's a horrible thing. Police are still investigating the crash and say so far no charges have been filed against the driver. Neighbors tell us the tragedy adds urgency to their safety concerns. Speed bumps would help. You know, the police presence, you know, for a while to, to kind of slow this traffic down. I think some of us are going to give a call and see, see what we can start. Police tell us there haven't been an abundance of crash reports or traffic complaints from neighbors on Burns Road, but say the department has been proactive with traffic enforcement in the area, and the traffic unit will continue to work to reduce crashes in the neighborhood. Police tell us they expect to have more updates later this week about the 10-year-old boy's condition and about potential charges in the case. In Elyria, Captain Ross, News 5.